everyone, welcome to Market Central. I'm DJ Market Host, and right now I'm over here at Fanfare NYC. I'm gonna bring you inside. We're gonna check out some independent publishers, dynamic programs, live events, and much, much more. So let's get right to it and have some fun. Come on. Right, DMC was good, fam. Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? DMC in the place to be. I'm here at the high school of art and design for Fanfare, the coolest comic book and art and creator convention in the universe. Yes, indeed. All right, growing up as a kid, was you ever into comic books? Before hip hop came over the bridge from the Bronx, before 1970s rock radio, classic rock and alternative rock and folk rock. All I did as a kid was read, collect, and draw comic books. The Easter eggs were always there. On King of Rock, Run says, I'm DJ Run, I can scratch. I don't say I'm DMC, I can rap. He goes, I'm DJ Run, I can scratch. I go, I'm DMC, I can draw. All I did as a kid from kindergarten tell about maybe ninth grade when I started writing my rhymes all I did was draw, 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 draw. Marvel comic books was my favorite. Okay. What kind of cartoons was you looking at as you was growing up? Growing up, you want to know about the cartoons? Looney Tunes, Woody Woodpecker, Flintstones, and the Jetsons. Um, anything that was animated, I was there. But my favorites, of course, Bugs Bunny, Elmer Fudd, Woody Woodpecker, and the, the classics, the, the grand classics, the Flintstones and the Jetsons. Okay, well you have Hold up, I can't forget this too. Popeye. I used to love coming home from school and Popeye was on. I love spinach to this day because of Popeye. I, okay. Were you ever into Japanimation as well? Excuse me? Japanimation? I didn't get into Japanimation too. I discovered that Japan is not only hip-hop, but they have the best of appreciation for animation. That's why we call it Japanimation. Um, once I got, in, got into comic books and started going to all the conventions, I, dis I discovered manga and I discovered anime. Matter of fact, why does it happen? Working on that right now. Okay. During the time that the 
you was um, with the group Run DMC and you was touring. Yeah. Were you still reading comic books even when you was on tour? Yes, when I was on tour, I brought my sketchbook and I was still reading X Men and Iron Man. Um, a little bit of DC here and there, the Flash. I stayed in the Flash, but Marvel was always my thing. I would say it was a probably like '88 when I completely put down the pen, stopped buying comic books. And went full throttle in the hip hop. Okay. But now I'm back. Hey, back. Okay, so when did it when did it occur to you that you decided you wanted to do your own comic book? Um about eight years ago I met a man named Briggs Morales. Shout out to my man Briggs if y'all don't know him. He's one of the best people in the music business. Um at the time I met him, he had just um came over from Shady Records. Shout out to my man giving him fellow geek and nerd that loves comic books, and it was Riggs who convinced me to do a comic book, not as DMC, the celebrity famous guy entertainer, it was like you're doing this comic book because it was your first love, this is little Daryl who became DMC later on, going back to his roots, so for about eight years he said, um, you can't use Marvel, you can't use DC, you can't use Milestone, can't use value, what are you going to call your comic book? I was like, but then it came to me. These were doing it all of the time. Things for the rhymes, that all mine. Seats for cool, cool as can be. I wear glasses and contacts so I can see. I said, you know what? I'm going to call my comic book company DMC. What does that mean? Daryl makes comics. Here you go. Okay. So what was it like to see your comic book for the first time? Once it got published. Oh man, it was the most exciting, one of the most exciting moments of my life. It let me know, and it will let you know too, that dreams do come true. I grew up um, loving the work and creations of the icon Stan Lee. DMC in the place to be, Daryl makes comics just like Stan Lee. Wow. Okay. So why do you feel that uh, social media is a great way for you to promote your platform? Because a lot of people use social media as, oh, look at me, look at me, look at me. But social media should be an assistant to what? To advertise, to promote, and not even from a business standpoint, to connect and present. So for me, my social media is a network. My social media is a film company. My social media is a whole TV show or a series. So social media allows us to, without having a budget, to market and promote your creation. Yeah. So what was it, what is it like to interact with fans who come to support your platform? That's the best part, and that's why I do what I do. It's not about money and to be rich and famous. It's about the community and participation which creates relations oh those are bars right there so it's a way for me to connect with everybody else okay what advice do you give anyone that's looking to get into the comic book world the first thing you need to do come up with your idea this is what it is come up with a vision for it what is it supposed to do why are you doing it? And what is the end result? Do you want to inspire? Do you want to motivate? Do you want to entertain? Once you get your idea and the vision, all of the other three things will fall into place. It will go where it's supposed to go. But always have a purpose for what you create. And the, the situations that you went through early stages of your life, did you spell, did you feel that the comic book changed your life pretty yeah, much? it's important for us to not be ashamed of whatever we went through. Your situation doesn't define who you are, but situations are part of your journey. So when you're not ashamed of your story, that allows your story to do two things. Help you learn about other people, and also, help you learn about yourself. Okay, and last question before I let you go. How'd you come up with the idea of Daryl Makes Cookies? 
Well, I like to do things that make people smile. I was doing music, then I was doing comic books, and the reason why I'm doing Daryl Love's cooking, Daryl makes cookies, is because I love cookies. So DMC in the place to be, Daryl makes cookies. Why? To make all of you smile and live happily ever after. Alright, good luck. Good luck Thank to you, you, D. Thanks for your time, brother. Thank you. Thank Peace. you. Shout out to Queens Bridge. Queens Bridge, baby. Yeah. Queens Bridge is what it is. ACE, what's going on, fam? I'm all right, man. How are you, dude? I'm okay. So, um, what was it like when you were coming up as a kid? What made you decide that you wanted to get into comic books? Honestly, believe it or not, believe it or not I was not a comic book fan. My brother was real more of a comic book fan than me. I was uh, kind of just watching the TV shows and things like that. Yeah. And as we got older, you know, we always saw that there wasn't that many comics that had people like us on it as the main characters, you know what I mean? So that was something that we kind of wanted to start to try to do for ourselves. And because I knew how to draw, we ended up starting our own company, and that's where AC started. Okay. What kind of cartoons was you looking at when you was coming up as a kid? Oh, man, I watched everything, you know, from Looney Tunes, the Marvel and DC shows, you know, anything on Fox or WB, I was on it. Okay, was you ever into also, like, DC and Marvel? Yeah, yeah, I watched all of them. Bro. Channel 5, you know, they used to have the whole Fox uh, DC lineup. I mean, Marvel lineup. Um, and then uh, WB used to have some uh, DC shows, you know, like Static Shock and things like that. Justice League. Just watch them all. Yeah. So uh, what made you decide, as throughout the years, you decided you want to start your own comic book brand? Well, as I said, you know, the lack of, you know, diversity was what really because we saw so many other popular characters, the white characters, you know, but they never had black characters in the main league. But we never saw supernatural characters as well. Anytime when you see a supernatural character, it's a white guy turning into a werewolf. So that was the main reason why I decided to do my Nightfall story, because I wanted to show that, you know, black people can have supernatural characters and black horror too. Yeah. So how'd you come up with the actual name Nightfall? Well, the name Nightfall is really just because his whole story starts when night falls and his awakening begins. So that was really what the name was really about. Okay, is he considered like a superhero or a villain? Um, no, he's definitely a hero, but uh, I wouldn't say he's like a superhero in that sense. I would say he's just a good guy trying to do good things, you know what I mean? But not necessarily a superhero. Okay, so how long it took for you to get your comic book, you know, in the Probably. spotlight? Published? Um, it took, uh, let's see, about... Well, I mean, a year and a half, a year and a half to finally get everything done, you know, because the main thing that people tend to forget is how important editing is. Because you can have a story and you can do it yourself, and like we did, but if you don't have an editor, you might have to go back 
and change some of the dialogue, you know what I mean? Because dialogue is really important, you know? So that was something that we had to check out and make sure it was good. Okay, so when you decided to work on Nightfall, how was you able to develop a story around this character? Well, I think, for me, it started out kind of really simple because when I first kind of had the idea, really, really kind of deciding on what we were going to do as our first story, because originally we were going to do a superhero story. We still are, but then the movie Twilight came out, and I saw how popular it was, and I saw the fact that I really didn't like it, just because I felt like supernatural characters were too soft. Well, it wasn't cut out for me, but I wanted to show that there can be a black superhero or a black character that's still in that same age range that can have love, action, horror, all of the genres that everybody likes, but with our own style. Oh, okay. So, for a little trivia, give me your top five superheroes of all time. Okay, uh, so I'm going to go with Spider-Man, Static, Icon, I'm trying to do some names that people might not know. Uh, I got to add Superman in there, too. Captain America is another one. Okay. Mr. Terrific. Okay. And uh, who would you say is your top five villains? In no particular order. <laughs> Joker is iconic. You got you to gotta put Joker. All right. That's hard. Villains, I'm, I like I like. Villains, because Villains is what makes the superheroes great, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, I mean, you know, Lex Luthor is always good because of the dynamic of Superman and, and uh, himself. Yvonne is also good, if you want to talk about static. Uh, I always like uh, uh, Clayface from Batman okay. as well. Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. Okay, okay, that's good. Alright, So, um, why you feel this is the best way, you know, for social media for you to promote your platform? What do you mean, like, which is the best one to go to? Yeah, for you, why is social media a great way for you to promote your platform? Yeah, I think uh, social media has always been a great way to promote your platform. You know, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, you just gotta really know algorithms. They're very complicated at first, but once you start to get that down, really start to get more followers from all over the world, places that you will never be able to touch. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks for so much for your time, brother. All right. Wish you very the best. All right. Alright, that'll do it in today's show. DJ Mark. Appreciate everyone out there watching Mark Essential. Don't forget to hit the like button. Make sure you also subscribe so you can see a lot more Mark Essential projects heading your way. Until next time, y'all, I'm out. Peace.